this town is happy hours just know where everyone is. And why hasn't the aura office just addressed that? It's like, here, Dunphy, take this letter to you know who and just follow the damn owls. Lily? Hmm? What? What the bloody hell are you doing? You know, I was listening to your theory about owl tracking. Are you hiding from Marlene? What? Me? No. Why, why would I be avoiding my... Alright, yeah. Are you in a fight? M maybe? You know, as her girlfriend, I am obligated to take her side. Yeah, well, as her best friend, I am too, yet here we are. What did she do? <sighs> oh my god. I know. Lily Evans, what did you do? Wait, is she reading Jane Austen? <laughs> you know you're in the wrong here. She picked the book. You know she can never step down from a challenge, Lily. She picked the book. What did you say? <laughs> she was teasing me because I finished my last book in one sitting and I was a bit crabby because the guy died in the end and I was crying and my head hurt. And so I snapped at her and I said, well, at least I've finished a book. Yikes. Yeah, so she got pretty angry. Um, and I could read a whole book if I wanted to, and I said, fairy tales don't count, Marlene. And uh, got even more angry, and went over to my bookshelf and picked that up, and said she'll accept my apology once she's finished reading the book. Until then, don't bother talking to her. And she chose sense and sensibility. Yep. And I'm guessing you didn't tell her about your failure to finish that one? Nope. Done. You finished it. I told you I could. Willoughby's an arse and so is every other man, so at least the book was right about that. You were right. I, I was wrong. I'm... I'm so sorry. Apology accepted. But you won't mind helping me out with footage practice tomorrow, will ya? Gotta make sure my bathing arm's in good shape. Co <coughs> of course, yeah. Good.